Hey guys, it's often said that good features are what make or breaks models performance. Feature transformation is a crucial step in the machine learning pipeline where we manipulate or modify our data features to improve the performance of our models. We have started a new series, a playlist of videos to understand everything about feature engineering. We have already seen data cleaning, imputation and categorical encoding techniques in the last videos. Now we are going to talk about feature transformation techniques. If you are new here, I am a mentor in the field of AI and machine learning. Started my journey long back 12 years before as a mentor and during this time I got a exposure to multiple technologies from Java to DevOps to Python to data science and also to AI. I have been helping corporates understand and implement applications especially in Python, data science and AI. As I have said, feature transformation is a crucial step in machine learning pipeline where we manipulate or modify our data features to improve the performance of our models. This video we will deep dive and understand what is feature transformation, why and when to use feature transformation, different transformation techniques such as function, power and quantile etc. Understand their impact on the machine learning models and for sure we are gonna implement them using scikit-learn and Jupyter Notebook. If we couldn't complete everything in this video, keeping time in mind, we will split this topic into two videos. So stay tuned for the next video as well to see the implementation of the same. So let's get started. Hey guys, welcome to AI with AI. This side, Asif Himnad. In the machine learning pipeline, after we get the raw data, 70% of the time is spent on data cleaning and preparations. And why do we do that? So that we can provide a quality data to the machine learning model and hence we can have a better predictions. Quality of the data is directly proportional to the accuracy of the model. So a feature transformation is a technique by which we can boost our model's performance. If I want to define formally what is feature transformation, a transformation in which we apply a mathematical formula to a particular column that is feature and transform these values which are useful for our further analysis and in turn we get better model performance. So in the machine learning pipeline as you see in the image a data preparation is what we are talking about. We already discussed about data processing and data cleaning. Now we are talking about the second part under data preparation which is feature extraction and after that we are gonna see a feature scaling and the selection in future videos right. So once we have a data prepared we provide it to our model to our machine learning model so that it can give a better accuracy and then we evaluate if the predictions are not up to the mark then we retrain reiterate and improve the accuracy of the model right this is what we keep doing then we finally deploy and monitor our predictions but the question here is how feature transformation increases the performance of our machine learning algorithm the answer is distribution of the data which is not normally distributed which has very large impact on the linear models like linear regression, logistic regression. So feature transformation is a technique where we use mathematical formulas to normalize these distributions and hence it boosts the performance of our machine learning algorithms, right? Let me give you an example. I know that this is difficult to understand what is distributed data. If you see here in the image, the data is called skewed, right? So this data here which you see is positively skewed or data can also be negatively skewed. But the data which we require need to be Gaussian for most of the algorithms, linear algorithms, linear regression and logistic regression. If your data is normally distributed, this is normally distributed data which is Gaussian data and this is skewed data, this is unbiased data highly skewed data, positive or negative, doesn't matter, but data is not normally distributed. So this is one of the example. Also, as you can see in the image, sometimes the data may not be linearly separable, right? So as you can see on the left hand side, we have a data in this format. This is not linearly separable. I cannot draw a line to separate green and red. So what is the other way? So something which cannot be solved in one dimension. So this is two dimensional data. Can I transform this data into other dimensions, maybe in three dimensions, right? So if I transform that data into other dimensions and look at the data from other angles, then there are chances that data can be linearly separable. And this is where feature transformation with kernels comes into picture. And we discussed very nice example during SVM, right? So SVM support vector machine sometimes may have a data which is not linearly separable. So we use kernels there and these kernels will help us transform the data 
and make the data linearly separable by transforming that data into other dimensions. So just to show you the outcome of how the data will look like if I don't use the feature transformation and after applying feature transformation, what is the outcome? Let me show you that. If you see here, this is data distribution, which is plotted, right? So if you see here, this is before applying transformation. As you see, data is positively skewed, isn't it? Data is not normalized. And if I plot a QQ plot, this is how the data will look like. So data is in the blue color and the line that we see here is in the 45 degrees. And this is a linear line which will act as a reference to the actual data. I can see data is linear, but it is not that linear. So for linear algorithms, linear regression, logistic regression, I can provide this data. But is there a way by which I can still improve the performance of our model? So if I apply the transformation this is how the data will look like so data is gaussian now data is distributed normally you can see the difference between this before and after and when i plot a qq plot this is how the data look like you can easily see the difference here right so data used to look curved now data is very much linear and when data is linear i have better accuracy in linear algorithms and hence, whenever you get the data, it is always better to plot the data to check if the data is positively skewed or if data is negatively skewed. Positive or negative is nothing but data is biased, right? And what we want is symmetrical distribution of the data, something like this, where mean, median, mode generally comes at the one line, isn't it? This is what we are aiming for. Okay, before we proceed and discuss in detail, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so that you won't miss our latest videos on AI. We see you are watching our videos, but 90% are not yet subscribed. We put a lot of efforts creating these videos for you free. Keep us motivated by liking and subscribing. So YouTube algorithm will also help us reach more audience. So did you subscribe and like? Thank you. So if this is very much clear to you, what is feature transformation? Let me talk about what are the different types of transformation and what are the different techniques by which I can make the data symmetric and normally distributed. So you can see in the image, we have something called as log transformation. We have reciprocal transformation. We have square transformations, square root transformation, power transformation, and also we can have a custom transformations. We'll talk about these in detail, but in a minute. But before that, let me tell you why and where should we use this feature transformation techniques so that we should be very clear when to use and when not to use, right? So first of all, linear and logistic regression. So in linear and in logistic regression, some data science models assume that variables follow the normal distribution, but this may not be true. The raw data which we get, we don't know the nature of the data. So that's why I always suggest you to plot the data, understand the nature of the data. And hence, these transformations are generally used where data is linear in nature and not on decision trees or on the random forest kind of algorithms. And if we know that, most of the time variables in real data set will follow skewed distribution or biased data. And hence, by applying these transformations to these skewed variables, we can map these skewed distributions to the normal distributions so that we can increase the performance of our model. I hope why and where part of feature transformation is very much clear to you now. And that's how we come to an end of this video. If you have any questions regarding the same, let us know in the comment below. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and the colleagues. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Till then, take care and bye-bye.